Hey fellow Bodagi artists, this is Sarah with a new design that I thought you would all enjoy as a project that will support your new Bodagi habit. Everybody needs a travel notions case that will hold all the essentials you will need to Bodagi with anywhere and everywhere. As a little side note, Make sure you have a membership with your favorite fabric store so you can be in the know for all their sales of their materials and supplies. Okay, on to the design. This project was created with calico quilt material. I used two color styles. You can just use one color pattern if you like for this travel case. I got these bundles of already pre-cut rectangles that were kind of a color matched. I also got a big bag of flower designs that I used as buttons and a small elastic cording for the loop that will go around the flower buttons to enclose the case. The front piece was cut on the fold and is a 7 inch by 7 inch square. The back piece can be cut as well on the fold and measures seven inches wide on the bottom by eight inches tall on the sides. And then at the eight inch mark, draw a triangle at whatever length you want the sides to be. My case is approximately five inches on each side of the side triangle. Work the front piece first. The fold will be at the top. Create quarter inch seams on all the other three sides and pin the sides together, having the seams folded inside facing each other. Make sure you miter the two corners on the bottom and pin. Now set this piece aside. Now to work the back piece. If you cut this on the fold with the fold beading on the bottom, you will not have to worry about that seam. Create quarter inch seams on both sides first. Put the two fabric pieces together with the seams folded inside facing each other and pin both sides. For the top part of the back piece, you create the quarter inch seams on both sides of the triangle. At the point, you will need to mire that point. This will be done just like you would a square corner. Now lay the top square piece on top of the back piece, ensuring that the bottoms and sides line up. Pin the two pieces together all around the sides and the bottom. So you will have a lot of pins. Now to make the enclosure loop that will go around the button. Take your elastic and cut about one and a half inches of cording. Knot the two ends together to make a loop. Open up the triangle point and lay the loop where the point lays in the middle of the loop. Put the triangle point back together with the mitered finish and then pin those layers ensuring you catch that cord knot that is centered below the top of the triangle point. This way the loop is centered on the top that will come forward to close the case. All the preparations are done and you are now ready to put the pieces together to create the case. Start at one of the corners and hide your starting knot and then whip stitch all around the case. Make sure when you get to the elastic cord area that you try to catch that cord in your whip stitch. And when you are finished, knot off and then hide your knot tail in between the layers of either the back or the front piece. The last step will be to attach your button. Whatever you select as your button, I would suggest it to be large. Locate a good spot in the front, in the center, where you can get adequate closure at the top when you loop the cord around your button. 
You don't want things to fall out. Attach your button by inserting your needle in through the hole and alternating holes to ensure you are stitching through all the holes on the button and securely fastening that button to the material. Finish your knotting on the back side of the front piece. You will need to turn your front piece kind of inside out to be able to knot off. And that's it. You're ready to fill your case with all the necessary tools to Bojagi on the go. I fill mine with scissors, needle and thread, a threader, pins, a thimble, a five by five inch measuring square, marking pens, beeswax, that's to help prevent the thread from fraying. A bone folder, which is totally optional as fingernails are truly adequate. And a seam ripper, which I rarely use. If you're flying, replace those scissors with the fingernail clippers, but that seam ripper can act as a good pair of scissors as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Save it if you like it. This is a pattern that is easy to modify where you can make larger cases that can hold your laptop or your tablet as a few ideas. Follow me for more Bojagi projects and spread the love and passion. Please don't let it die.